So today, I'm going to show you how to install Doom Free in virtual reality onto your headset. So once you've installed this, it's going to be a completely standalone game. You won't need a PC to play it, but you will need a PC or a, a laptop or something like that just to transfer a couple of files across. That's just what you're going to need now. But once it's installed, you won't need a PC or a laptop. It's going to be standalone and it's going to be on your headset. And I'll show you how to do it. How do you do it, Michael? Oh yeah, this is how you do it. First of all, we go to SideQuest. Now I've got SideQuest on my headset, so this first little bit, just for convenience, I'm going to be doing on my headset. If you haven't got it on your headset, then you're going to have to use the, your PC or your laptop. You're going to have to use that anyway. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to SideQuest. Just click there and type in Doom Free. Hold on, let me see what it comes up anyway. I don't have to type it in. There you are, Doom Free Quest. Click on that. This will happen, side load. And just click on side load. They're installing. So that's been added. Do you want to install this app? Yes, of course I do. So we do, don't we? So we're going to click on install. Ooh. Is that it? I think that's it. So now, what you have to do is go into your library. And you see this up here? Just click on that, a little drop down, and go down to unknown sources. Sources. Did I say that properly? Oh, it's, oh there it is. Doom Free Quest. Now, you click on this. This is what starts the game. I'll watch very carefully. And it's crashed. And that's what it's supposed to do. Now it's done that because it's, it's just made some folders and we're going to need those folders because we have to copy some files into those folders. And that's why we need a laptop or a desktop. And that's where we're going to go now. We're going to go to the laptop or desktop. So here we are on my PC. Now, first of all, let's just click on uh, my C drive. We'll just have a look this PC local disk and we'll have a look down here and you should see the Quest 3 or your Quest 2. If you don't see that, just back out of this, go back into your headset and go look for that little uh, notification bell and click on that and you'll get a notification about your USB and something being connected to it, which is your headset, and it wants permission to mess about with your files. Just give it permission, click on it. Okay, I'll close that down. Now the first thing you want to do is create a folder like that and then I bought Doom Free on Steam and it's at the moment it's about ten dollars or just less than eight pounds and if you shop around I'm sure you'll get it cheaper than that because it's 20 years old this game so I'll go to Doom Free right click on it click to manage I mean move to manage not click scroll down to bro uh, browse local files I've just got in from work so you're going to have to forgive me right so here are the files of the game you've just bought Doom Free Click on base, and you see all these PK4 files. There's 13 of them actually all together. I'm going to select all them. But as you can see, I've selected 14 files. I'm going to put my finger on the control button on my keyboard and keep it pressed down. And this file here, I'm going to click on it, and that will deselect it. Now, I can drag all these folders from here into the I'm not going to do because I've already done that. There they are, 13 files. Okay, so we can close this down now, which is the game. Uh, we have to open that up, open this back up again. Now we've copied those over from the game into the folder. Now we go to the Quest 3, open that up. Internal shared storage, double click on that. Scroll down and you'll see the file that you created when the game crashed earlier on when we're installing this. So Doom Free Quest, double click. And there you go, base, double click. As you can see, there's only one file in there. It's a PK399. That's what you should have. So we're going to open this folder up. Oh, move that over there. 
select all these lovely files. We've got them all, yeah. And drag all 13 of them over here and release. Now it'll ask you to move or copy. Doesn't matter really. But uh, when you're moving them, when you're copying them from the game folder, always select copy. Yeah, look, they're appearing there. Isn't that clever? There. Now you can close that down. You can close all this shit down. And that's it. Now, all we have to do is go back into our headset. You can unplug your headset. I'm going to disable Quest Link here by clicking on this. And then by clicking on that. Oh, I don't know what that... I'm very satisfied, thank you very much. And now we're going to go... I'm going to unplug my Quest from my PC. There, there's a cable. Put that down there. Now, go here. And scroll down to unknown sources. There. And it should start the game. Ooh, see, look. Let's have a look. Uh, that's load game. Hello? 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 Press down on the button, Luke. Watch. Okay. Isn't that good? I think this is brilliant. I'm going to turn that flashlight off just in case. And the battery runs out, just in case the battery runs out. Look through here. Ooh. What? You're looking for the scientist, right? Yeah. I'm not sure you want to find him. No, I do. You see, uh, uh, never mind. What? 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 No. Who? What? What's going on? Why's it gone dark? Oh! Shit, some... Okay, that's a ghost. Shoot him in the head. Sorry, oh, fuck you know. Wrong, 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 wrong. There's no run button. Where's the run button? I need a fucking run button. Right, just press this tape, no notice of that. Maybe I'll we'll care about you. Oh, fuck. Oh, ghost. Ah! He's gonna kill me. Oh, oh fuck. And there's a ghost. Doodly -doo 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 -doo. Yes. Headshot. Push. Oh! Ghost. Shit. <laughs> 